Interesting tonight, hail covered some local roads. This is a look at I-5 around 715 tonight. It's slow traffic in the Twilliger curves. And we have this look from the Mountain Park neighborhood in southwest Portland, right by PCC Sylvania. Welcome to the special edition of Coin 6 News. I'm Dan Tilkin. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. Weather still a big deal tonight, so we want to get right to our chief meteorologist, Natasha Stenbach, with a first look at your forecast. Can people still expect hail? Yeah, it's still a possibility to see thunderstorms come right up through the Willamette Valley. We're going to show you that image here in just a second. Downtown, it's dry right now. 40 degrees, dew point at 36. Wind out of the southeast now at about 10 miles per hour. So you can see most areas are dry around the Vancouver and uh, Portland metro areas. But then you zoom out and we have snow, of course, falling closer to about that 1,500 foot mark. Um, Estacada and also, rather, Estacada, sorry, and over to Oregon City, Beaver Creek, and Sandy. See some of that snow earlier. Now, as we look at the really big picture here, noticing within this three hour loop, we have lightning still popping up offshore. So, yes, thunderstorms are still in the realm of possibility. Now, the only reason why we didn't see thunderstorms just isolated to the coast this time is because of the direction. The motion coming up from the south southwest takes it right up the Willamette Valley as opposed to if we're just coming from the west. If we were just getting the storm motion from the west, then the coast range would help act as a big block. But in this case, that didn't happen. So we saw hail, we had lightning, we had lightning strikes, a couple good ones right around downtown Portland about 7.30 this evening. So still a possibility for more thunderstorms, uh, but not for everybody. This is still going to continue to be very isolated in nature. Here's a big picture area of low pressure, cold air in behind that front. We're still getting these post frontal showers, continuing with the chance for thunderstorms. And of course, talking about low snow, we could still see some really low elevation snow to about 1,000 feet as we move into tonight and watch those temperatures drop. So far today, we picked up about five tenths of an inch, about a half inch of rain so far in Salem, three tenths of an inch in Portland. Not as much the further east you go, of course. The Dow's only picked up five hundredths of an inch. Hood River, almost two tenths and about a quarter of an inch in Newport. So looking ahead at a rain and snow forecast, as we put this map into motion, noticing through the early morning hours a possibility it, you could see a rain snow mix happening up and down I-5 in those early morning hours when we really start to cool down. But the ground's still too warm. We're not expecting it to stick around. Now areas where we've actually had some hail from about a couple hours ago, um, places where we're kind of in that pocket, in the pocket of a valley where your temperatures are right around about 35 to 36 at the moment, you might still see hail on the ground from a couple hours ago. So a good indicator for us, if you see any snowfall late tonight through tomorrow morning, if you're in some of those colder pockets, you might see it stick for a minute or two, but not expected to actually stay around for more than a few minutes. Now let's get into Friday morning, Friday evening into early Saturday morning. And overall, the clearing is taking place. We're getting rid of that, those post frontal showers and then onto another system coming through for Sunday, but a much weaker system and only producing a few hundredths of an inch of rain. Keep in mind there is a winter weather advisory in place for our local mountains. In addition to the coast range, three to seven inches possible between here and the coastline. If you're taking some of those passes, mountain passes, anywhere from a foot or more of snow expected over the next day and a half here. Here's your seven day forecast. Looking again at another chance for thunderstorms lingering into Saturday, and that includes the inland valleys. We're no longer just talking about the coast. And then back to a break from the wet weather as we jump into to next week. A lot to keep an eye on.